thing is okay. now that you need to use something Boom. so guys uh good morning guys like welcome back to my channel so i made a video on my let me come and show you people can see my face right i made a video on my channel about how to make pop like miss green pop for kids how to do it and uh, i got some comments that said that from the comment i understood that the person the people did not understand the the steps that i took to achieve it but i think i think i make it i wasn't very detailed in that video so i want to refilm that video for you guys so that you guys can see it so if you don't know what pap is pap is a a miss grain food that is generally consumed in nigeria and other part of africa too adults can take it and babies from three months can take it yeah this food is good for children from three months and it helps them to get for their skin to glow it tells them to add weight it tells them to look plumpy and healthy because it's rich the three combo is rich in both protein carbohydrate and every nutrient minerals as well so yeah and i've also made a video about thumb brand if you want to the one that you can add more ingredients i will try to link it in link it in the description box below meanwhile if you're on a weight loss journey and you like you love pap and you can't do without pap like you want you want to still be taking pap even while you're on your weight loss journey let me know so i can make a video for you on how to make pap weight loss pap like guys i usually don't like taking pap but now i take pap even while i'm on weight loss so let me know so drop in the comment section how to make pap for people that want to lose weight so you can also consume your pap while you are still losing weight so yeah but today one is for general pap for kids for babies from three months and above even adults can take it so hi guys if you're seeing my face for the first time my name is noni i'm a mom youtuber based in abuja nigeria please don't forget to feel free to subscribe to the channel don't forget to turn on the post notification so you don't miss any of my recent upload to my returning subscribers welcome back guys and if you have if you found my channel through one of my diy's especially that on brand because that on brand video is going viral please drop in the comment section let's get to know ourselves so without further ado let me introduce you guys to the ingredients i'm going to be using for this pop. let's go so well, the corn we're going to be using for this uh, this thing is this this is a guinea corn, this is millet, and this is normal corn, the yellow normal maize that we know. So this is the three corn we are going to be using. Three ingredients that we're going to be using for this pap, this maize grain pap. Uh, I just want to keep it simple i've made the video and some people complained they didn't get the details so i'm trying to like refilm the video so that people that didn't get the full details will be able to get the details of the video i've already selected them it's just for me to watch i joined them together here because i want you guys to like see the three combo that i'm going to be using and uh, not when i've missed them together because the last video i did i think i missed all together before i showed you guys so i've already selected them this is what this millet looks like and this is what guinea corn looks like all those things up there is like this is um what's it called the chaff once i put it inside water now it will come up and i will clear but i've already removed the stones and everything that is not supposed to be there yeah so and then uh, This is the stone that I removed from the cone. Like, guys, you need to pick these things very well. Mommy. So, what I'm doing now, I'm washing, I want to wash them. I'm washing all of them together because while I poured it on the table, the cone mixed with the other grave you can see from this thing that's why i'm washing them but if you're doing your things advice i advise you wash separately that way you get to get 
get rid of the dust and everything and the chaff you need. So you just have to like keep turning it. Keep turning it. So you can see all these ones like this all these ones are chaff like this is like the chaff of the or should i say the ones that does not have any grain in them I'm doing this outside, but if you're doing this inside, you have to be careful. If not, you see the whole place is water. So I'm done washing now. I'm just you have to get a bucket like this, a clean bucket that you're using maybe to store things or something like that. But you need to get something that has a cover. So I'm using this bucket for for it. So what I'm going to be doing is So after washing, this is what you get. So you have to make sure that the buckets you're using, the cone is halfway through the bucket. Like it's not full like this one. I'm going to be dividing this one. It's not full like this one. I'm going to be dividing this one into two because it's too full. Because reason because when you soak the cone, it's going to rise up. Like as it's absorbing water and fermenting, it's going to be increasing in size. I don't know if that makes sense. So now that you need to use something that is not as uh, use a bucket that is full or um, use if it's too big you can divide it into two different bowls. so this one is much i'm going to be dividing this one into two different buckets so that it will be half full in that way when they are fermenting i will not have to it won't be the water won't be overflowing or spilling on the ground yeah so the next thing you need to do is to make sure the bucket the corn is halfway through the bucket and then uh, before you pour water so when i said halfway through you can see that the corn is halfway through, so I'm going to just pour water into the two of them now and allow it to. I'll see you guys. Allow it to ferment for like three days, maximum of three days, so it doesn't smell. So this will ferment. I'll see you guys tomorrow and tell you what we need to do after this process. So after this process, you will go ahead and cover it with this. Make sure the thing is tightly covered so that way the fermentation process will start. Yes. So this is like in four hours later. You can see that it has started fermenting. So what you need to do is just to sieve out this water from the corn and the pour clean water, rinse it, then pour another water and cover it. That's what you need to do here. Just watch what I am doing. So you just need to do this, keep doing this thing for like that three days. Every 24 hours, you change the water, pour fresh water. Before you pour fresh water, make sure you pour water, wash the corn so it doesn't smell. If not, that's why you, when you see some corn, when they open it, it will be smelling. But when you change the water and rinse it every day, it won't smell. So this is like the, the third day. Uh, 
this what you need to do is just have to pour all the corn out wash it again to wash out all the fermented water from the body of the corn and then uh, you take it to your meal to, to your grinding meal if you're doing the small quantity you can use, if you have a strong blender you can use your blender to do that but if you're doing in big quantity or large quantity as i'm doing because i like to do this and store it in the fridge for like one month for my kids so you have to like take it to the meal unless you have the big grinding engine in your house so make sure you wash it very well like you can see the way i'm washing it like i've not washed it before i wash it so i can get rid of all the fermented water and so that the pulp does not smell when you start when you're drinking you know those pulp that when you're drinking it will just be smelling in your mouth and then after drinking you just be when you belch you be belching smell it kind of thing so yeah so make sure you wash it very very well before you take it to your grinding or your miller or for grinding yes that's the thing so you have to rewash it like so many times like as until you feel like it's clean like i don't need to tell you how many times you need to wash it but until you feel like it's clean some people too they just remove the fermented water and grind it straight but me i like to be extra with my things especially when it's something that the kids are eating eating or what people are eating so i like to wash like overwash <laughs> yeah but anyway i'm just like trying to wash and rewash and rewash until i feel like it's clean and the whole fermented water is out of the corn after that just sieve out the whole water make sure you sieve out every water in it sieve it out after sieving it out i'll just pour everything because the corn is plenty so i divided it while i was washing so i'm just going to pour everything into one bucket to see if it will enter if it enters here yeah, i'll just carry it straight to where they will grind it for me but mine didn't enter so i had to share divide the corn a little into another bucket so it can contain everything but this is what the corn looks like it looks really really beautiful and very colorful so after that i'll go to where they are grinding so what i usually do i like to be there and make sure i wash the engine myself i like to pour water and uh, sometimes i use will add money fresh like once she turn on the engine and it's running you can pour anything you want to pour like morning fresh i don't advise deter detergent so that it can cleanse the teeth of the engine while it's grinding you know it's not your own personal own and the uh, you need it to be clean so you don't get the food contaminated after that they will pour water into the corn that i just brought so that it will be easier for blending you know normally when you're blending something in your blender you usually add water especially when it's dried ingredients so it's just the same process the only difference is this one is commercial one yeah but this is what they are going to be doing they're going to be pouring the corn small small and they're grinding it and they, after grinding the first set they will start repeating the same thing all over again like after grinding the corn this one is just like breaking down of the corn so it will be smaller for the engine to grind and after that they will now start afresh and start blending grinding it again you can see what how the thing is coming out so after that they will grind it again until they get a very smooth consistency and they add water once in a while when they feel like the thing is too thick it's too strong for the engine to grind and they they'll just add water to help with the process of the grinding or blending i don't know the right one to use but anyway you guys understand what i mean so so this one is just the first stage of grinding i'm going not going to take you through the whole stage because it can be like twice it can be like but minimum of four times that way you get a very smooth consistency like this one here like, like right now once you touch it on your hand and it is not it's not you're not feeling bumps in your hand like you know you feel like it's very smooth like a paste that's when you when you know that it is okay then can they can stop grinding it so this is all the pop now it has been grinded it has been blended whichever english then another thing you need like bath like i'm using like four bath for this like you need like bucket or bath depending on the quantity of the one you're using but you need something that you can use to scoop water like one or two then the next thing you need is this 
cheese clothes this sieve this is cheese clothes you can get this from people that are selling the corn or all these people that sell bakarati gum in the market so i just want to run, rinse it out or wash it out because it's been long i used it so i'm just going to rinse it out and uh, then also you also need a bag pap bag i will show you guys let that one later in the video when we are done with the this stage so what i usually do is i when i bring the pap i like to split it and i pour more water in so it can be running that way it's easier for me to uh, sieve because when i in first time i started making pap it was i would it would take long for me to like finish small one bucket of pap but ever since i learned this method it makes the work easier so i try to pour as much as you can see what i'm doing i'm just missing the thick paste with plenty water so that it can be light and it, will, it helps the work to make the work easier like it helps it really really saves time for you and for me if you're trying it out so what i do when i pour the water i use my hand to miss the paste to make sure it mix properly with water just to help to loosen it up so watch and uh, enjoy So when I'm done mixing it and I've gotten the consistency, the next thing I need is to tie my pop, my sieve. So what I do, I bring two ends of it, join it, tie it this way and also tie the third way so it can form a knot. Like I'm trying to make it to be like bag like, but if you're able to get this sieve, the one that looks like bag, that one works better because that way you just put it in straight in the bag and you start. So you can see what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to form a knot around it. I'll just do it at the two edge of the bag so that i will get out it will look like a bag when i finish tying it so it will have like a pocket where i can pour something i don't know if that's making sense but just to watch so you can understand what i'm saying what i'm doing so you can see like it has a pocket where i can pour something inside and it will stay so after tying the sieve and the positioning it into the bath i will take my take a plate or a cup anything you want you know that you can use to scoop the already missed pap that's why i'll just scoop it and pour it into the the sieve that i've already spread inside the bath that i'm using you can see what i'm doing please try to pay attention my son is one helping me with this recording and his hand is shaking but yeah i hope you get the message that i'm trying to pass so i pour as many cup as many plates as i can so that this is why i say it's going to make the work is after that i will gather the the tips that i sprayed on the bath you can see what i'm doing i'll gather everything together hold it together and uh, when i hold it i'll start you see what i'm doing i'll start shaking the thing just to make sure that i get so that the pop can come out of the of the distance you can see what i'm doing i'm using my hand to turn the stuff so that the pop can easily come out you guys can see what i'm doing you can see what i'm doing so when i feel that the pop in this one is almost out and i'm only seeing the chaff i will dip it into another bath and also repeat the same thing and i will dip it into the third bath just to do the final rinse and you can see once i notice that the pop is no longer coming out just the way this one is i will know that this one is okay now i you just discard the chaff and uh, repeat the same thing that we did the first time the same process put the thing inside the bath pour the pop and yeah so this is what the chaff 
looks like after we discard it so we just have to repeat the same process i just believe this thing will be self more self explanatory if you're watching you can see what it looks like if you have a goat if you have chicken this one will be beneficial to you so yeah i'll still repeat the same process that we did the first time that's what we're going to be doing here again so watch and uh, enjoy the rest of the video if you have watched up to this moment and you have not subscribed please what are you waiting for please subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up and check out all of my other videos that you will like also i have so many diys i also have lots of lovely vlogs i'm sure you will learn one or two things from them please keep watching and watch to the end thank you for watching I have to get from home.
so this is what it looks like after i finish this so i like to go extra mile by receiving it what i mean by receiving it i'll just take out the sieve i'm using wash it out to dust out the particles of the corn on it and the, then tie it the same way i tied it the first time and also but this time around it's just going to be easy because i'll just put it in a bucket and i'll pour the milky pap water inside it and it will just run through it this is this helps to get any particle or any of the chaff that maybe escaped while i was trying to do the first sieving because most times when you're trying to maybe want to pour something some of it will escape or when you're trying to tie the mouth of the stuff some of it will escape but it's not like if you don't receive it it's not good you will not even notice that something like that is there but i like to receive mine just to give it that extra smooth texture when you're drinking it like it gives you that extra smooth texture so if you want to go extra like me you can just receive it what i do is this way where i tied it i'll just place it over a bucket just like this one and the, i will then pour the pop through it i'll put my hand inside the water the pop and turn it again then i'll pour it through the bucket and there you can see what i'm doing so i'll just pour it to just run through the whole stuff again and the, catch up catch any mist chaff of the corn yeah so this is the chaff that came from after receiving it you can see the chaff like you can see the chaff that came out from after i received it so if this one would have been inside there if i didn't receive it so it's totally optional as like you don't need to do this step but then anyway, after that you just allow them to settle in the bucket wherever you pour them cover them and allow them to settle so after they settled after this after like how many hours later they have settled very well what i just to see but you see the way the thing settled the water is clear now once you notice that the water is this clear you will know that it has settled then you start pouring it out and once you're pouring it out and you notice that the water is becoming milky again you can see what i mean by milky just watch and observe once you notice that the water is becoming milky like you can see the pop is coming out of it it means that you need to stop saving because pop is joint for coming out with the water so after that you can then go straight and pour it into your bag so this bag that i'm using too is sold by the people that sells corn or all these yoruba women that sells share but how those not those things that they use for skincare and all those those are the people that i got this bag from uh i'm pouring it away because guys i'm using one hand to film hold my phone while i'm using the other hand to fetch the pop but anyway you got you get the idea you pour it into this bag all of them into the bag and they tie the mouth of the bag and uh, so once you finish pouring it you just tie the mouth of the bag you can see the bag i just noticed that my bag is leaking so i want to transfer it and tie the mouth but anyway that's you just tie the mouth of the bag and you just keep it like this till the next day it will drip the water on its own you don't need to put pressure but i just use this light chair to like put on it but it will drip this water on its own and i will show you guys what it looks like the next day it took like say the, the next day afternoon before it was dry enough and this is what you get after the whole thing so what i just do usually do at this stage if it's for sale you can just tie it up the way you say your own is in the nylon or in a cup but i just tie my own in the nylon and i'll store them in the freezer that's how i used to preserve mine you can store it in the freezer but remove it from the bag make sure you remove it from the bag which you use in drying the water then 
tie it this way in the nylon and store it in the freezer freezer if you have plate or this small small plate you can also portion it inside plate and put it in the freezer but i prefer to put it in the nylon that way when i want to take i just take one as well i don't have much plate and it's going to occupy space in my freezer but anyway i hope this video answers all your question i hope you enjoy please don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed and there uh, thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one bye